good morning guys how are you oh I forgot to tag people again okay so um, mm, 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 mm. I don't know if any will be free to join me live today but I will tag you guys anyway you don't know okay You might, I guess, because um, it's Easter holiday and we don't need to do schoolwork, right? For the children. <laughs> okay. I've just gone through a little list here. Hi, good morning. How are you? Um, you won't believe what I've got in store for you. <clears throat> I've been looking for inspiration, trying to think like something spring, but I think, you know what, it doesn't matter if it's going to be spring or not, as long as it's something that um, it's going to bring us joy for the time being, okay? So, um, what's the time? Oh, two minutes. So, let's get going then, um, because we need to do a few color mixing. I need a few scrap pieces of paper. Let me just get it out and ready. Um, da -la 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 -la. Going to need to do some roots, guys. Desperately needed the whole lot to be blue, but I cannot be bothered. Gosh, um, for my scrap, I use like um A4 paper, and um, it's not very satisfying, is it? Okay, right. Let's switch the screen. Okay. Let me just make sure I've got the right um, color to mix first. So I'm going to try to mix my flamingo pink because we're doing flamingo today, guys. Okay, so um, I don't know because um, flamingo eats like shellfish and things. That's why their feathers pink, isn't it? It's not. It's not actually their feathers white if you give them a specific diet. So... Um, if you haven't got that kind of peachy, bright pink, just use any pink, guys. I have done it just with normal pink before, but I'm going to try to mix a peachy pink. But how? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to figure it out in a minute. I'm going to use like bright red. And that's not very good paper to, to um, use, is it? No, that's mud. Oh, look, guys. Um, oh, look at my um, absorb cleaning tissue today. It's so posh. Just bring a little bit of poshness in my house today. <laughs> Went to work there. Um, obviously, not to enjoy myself, but to work. Well, it's to enjoy a bowl, but, you know. And I took one as a souvenir. Today's the day to use it. <laughs> it's impossible to um, try it on A4 paper because you can't see the true um, goodness of the colour. I'm going to try it on my scrap piece of water paper. No, that's not it. That's hideous. <laughs> I might have to end up using just pink. Yeah, get me a flamingo picture. I have some on my um, phone as well. It's definitely lots of orange in it. But which pink do I use? That's the question. Maybe it's this color, alizarin crimson. Or maybe you can't get them in watercolor. Surely you can. Um, what colors are you guys going to try? Oh my God, yeah, Michelle, please do not do that. Um, don't drink paintbrush water. 
<laughs> it's that orange and then how do you add that pink to it? Oh, I think I might be onto something. No, that's too orange, guys. I don't know. Just gonna go for pink then. I think I've got a good pink going on. Okay, right. So how do we do this flamingo? I'm just gonna get my A4 piece of paper first because, um, so basically, look at the real thing, okay? So we're gonna look at the real thing. I have it up on my iPad, a picture of a flamingo, and just pick the one that you like the pose. Um, I like him, so um, I might stylize the neck um the way i want it okay so um i'm going for so the flamingo has got like a swan shaped body really like that okay so always come up with um you know simple shape first so you know where the um, anatomy goes okay and then it's like a swan neck but it's more longer and it's a beautiful soft curve of s and then you've got another oval there okay just like so okay guys and um that is exactly as the swan you make it um, shorter neck okay cute and it's got a long beak okay long um actually it's a bit like that okay long beak and actually very beady eyes um and the eyes are about there something like that okay um yeah something like that maybe eyes go a bit here <laughs> sorry and then um the beak is black around here okay so that's we got the um simple shape going and then what kind of legs would you like it to be i always think of um it's the wrong way around of figure four if you want it to be um you know um, the resting position so the legs are like so okay that's the um, position of the flamingo and the tails would slope down okay if it is a swan the tails will go up yeah but the slope down but you know what it's a stylized version just go for fun okay so that's the flamingo um, but for me I'm gonna even do it a bit more um, stylized um, by get the flamingo to look right down. It's almost like a um, He or she is just you know, so graceful Graciously graciously <laughs> Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do with that That's my position of my flamingo and then we're gonna add the flowers that we learn. Okay, around it make it bright and colorful banana tropicals or whatever but actually we're going to do some fruits um later on the week so save that maybe just add the flowers you know on the side of the flamingo okay so that's what we're going to be doing all right um so just think of composition you don't have to do exactly like me um if you have a few minutes now Hi guys, those who just joined me, we're going to do a flamingo today. Um, I was thinking I was going to try to do like um, something springy, but I think I'm bored of spring now. I think it's time to move on. <laughs> it doesn't matter, you see, just whatever floats your boat, right? Um, so um, the simple shape of the flamingo, I'm just going to do a quick recap. A oval shape of the body, okay? Um, now we're getting technical. And then a really soft S curve, just an S, see? And then another oval, and then a beak, okay? Like so, okay? And then just do a neck. If you're not sure, just start sketching on your with your pencil now. 
and um, the tail is coming down rather than going up like swan or ducky okay and then just decide the position of your legs you can just have like two legs like this or um, you can have one leg like that like the walking position like um, you can have a walking position like so or you can have a resting position like so okay so it's like a wrong way around um, number four okay so um, let's get cracking start sketching if you want to I'm gonna do a very light sketching because it's quite a big thing and you can think about the um, composition of your work my table doesn't fit my paper it's only like a small console table so oh let me take that off <coughs> god excuse me oh it sneeze on camera <coughs> do you guys have hay fever i have to take um antihistamine every day from now until the end of summer it's very very sad indeed very very sad i hate it okay right i think i like my orangey pink it looks good for me okay right um my pencil and i've got my i haven't got my sharpener oh thank goodness this one is nice and sharp okay so um i'm gonna have and you can go crazy with this, okay? We're gonna do splatter, we're gonna blowing things all over the place. Let's go crazy with this one, okay? So um, obviously, if you start off with a really good quality paper, then you can abuse it a bit more. But if you have a bit thinner paper that tend to buckle, I would suggest to um, tape all the edges down with masking tape, right on the edges. But you know, um, some papers um, seem to like to peel off and come away with the sticky tape no matter how good quality this is is um, it seemed to come off with it a little bit so just be careful but if you tape them all down together really well um, you need to look on how to stretch watercolor paper but um, I never really bother but if I were to do like a big project then then a a4 I would definitely stretch my paper there's so many in information on how to stretch your paper properly um, on YouTube or on Google okay right let's do this so I'm not gonna get too excited because um, and I did <laughs> okay right so we're no we know angel right no no one is perfect just go for it and um, let's do this uh, 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 a little maybe that's too big for my paper that's why a quick sketch or a study always the best way to do it, okay? Okay, so that's my initial shape of my flamingo. And then do a soft S curve up. Like so. Yeah, I love honey. I've been taking local honey as well. Hi, Abby. Hi, Patrick. Thank you for stopping by. We're doing flamingo today. Um, and I'm going to do another oval shape there for my flamingo. And then drag down parallel line for the neck. Okay. And feel free to adjust. Look, it was okay on the scrap piece of paper, but when it comes to the real thing, I get so nervous. <laughs> okay. And um, somehow the flamingo got this terrible humpback. And I think this is, um, when now that I look at the picture, it's got like a weird, looks almost like a camel neck. Yes, please, Milton. Thank you, honey. Oh, my youngest just came in and said, would you like a cup of tea? Never say no to tea, guys. Okay, so um, we're nearly done with our shape of our flamingo. Okay, 
and um, then we do the beak the beak are quite big it's as big as the size of the head so don't forget to go a bit you know crazy with it so just look at the proportion and observation is the key but you know what um, again it's the um, stylized version just go for whatever whatever guys whatever okay just like so all right and um, I'm going to gently draw a um, little pattern of the beak now this is where you can just get lost in the details but I'm not going to let that happen to me today <laughs> Just let it go, Mona. And the beak just going through his face a little bit, okay? Just like that. And then um, that will be black. And then that will be... I'm going to do the beak a bit smaller. I think I would made the beak a bit too big for some bizarre reason. And I'm going to make his, his head a little bit humpy. Is that the word? <laughs> humpy <laughs> oh god I'm so juvenile yeah I think that's about right that's better so again um, this is when you can start doing discipline of drawing okay um, if you have some time drawing skills is very beneficial um, but not necessary okay so this is what it is. I might have to go in you a bit and then I, that's a bit too low. I'm going to do, um, it actually is like that. Okay. Okay. I think that's, I'm happy with the shape of my head, flamingo head now. Let's not overthink it. And then the leg coming down from mid of the body actually. So give him a little bit of a fur for him to, you know, give him some dignity of his legs. So just think of what you want to do on the legs. Like, um, do you want to have it? Don't forget to give it a knobbly knee. Um, you know, do you want it to go in the water? Or do you want it to go on land? Um, just think what you'd like to do okay um, I'm gonna have it in the water on land I don't know I don't know I'll give him feet I'll give him feet just abstract your feet thank you Milton love your coffee Okay. That's really good to know, Julie. Thank you for having an ex expert on um, flamingo shoulders. It's tea. Thank you for the tea. Okay, did I say coffee? Yes. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. And I'm going to do a um, the famous resting feet. Okay. So just imagine that will be as long as that knee, okay? So measure if you want to. That's how I got taught. Let's not measure. <laughs> not today. Give a nobly knee. And then um, let's come here. Okay. And give it a very elegant hand like this for our, you know, <laughs> Our flamingo. Is it a bit hazy? Yay. Is that better? Okay, sis, good morning. My sister's from Florida just logged in. Hi, thank you guys for joining me. I know I'm working messy. Okay, and then um, I'm gonna... So, I know, this is like all our lovely drawing done, right? But, no, 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 we're not gonna leave it like that. Um... Okay, let's do this quickly with the tail first. 
that's gonna be my tail I'm gonna leave it free because I'm gonna blow some dark pink and just go like that okay um, but this is what our foundation done now again what do we do we're just gonna wrap it off okay just pounce at your paper release all the frustration um, or if you are more elegant you can just gently rub it off but no let's do it this way guys let's pounce together <laughs> what we do is we just kind of like gently rub the um, the marking away so we we just have a tiny bit left okay but I find that I get really good results when I do this you see when I rub it off is too um, too faint I took it off too much somehow what day is it today is guys I I'm totally lost days you know it's like um those kind of days that between Christmas and New Year you kind of don't know what's going on anymore um, and just whatever kind of thing hey good morning Margaret you're late today <laughs> we are about halfway in well not halfway way 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 far away from halfway we're doing flamingo today um, and we have no color yet but we will in a minute and um, Okay, it's Tuesday. Thank you, sis. Okay, that that's nearly nearly good enough to go. Okay, I think that might be faint enough for me to to work with. Okay, I'll give you one second, and um, just gonna drink my tea that Milton made me. <laughs> Just give me an okay if you're kind of ready to move on to the next level, guys. Um, I have a few more projects in mind. And um, just have to think of logistics on, like, because, you know, you have to wait for the paint to dry a little bit and stuff. Um, so we'll see. So I had a go at this yesterday. So this is what we'll be doing with our flamingo, I think, that effect, okay? Um, so get ready for that. All right, and um, I hope you enjoyed yesterday's class. And I was talking to um, Julie, um, one of our ladies, yesterday about painting certain things, but it will take a bit too long to to wait for the first few layers to dry. And she suggested that to make it like a two days event. So you paint the background and then you can come back next day to paint the top layers. That might be fun because um, we can do so many things then like night sky and add the details later. We can Bob Ross it, you know, we can do like Bob Ross. Okay, next. Right, let me look at the picture of the flamingo. My real flamingo today is very, um, okay, I like this one. Okay, so my flamingo is um, quite cute. You can see that he's got um, really bright colors on his neck and then very pale on the top of the main body wing. And then the, the wings area is super duper duper bright. So this is what I'm gonna go for. And then this is the area where I can use the watercolor to um, the benefit of the watercolor to bleed out. I think that's what I'm gonna do, okay? Can you see that? Um, these flamingos got super humpback, look wee like that. So, you know, don't be afraid to exaggerate it because their neck is absolutely long. Look at that S. It's totally an S, but you know, the other way around S. It's all mirror image with, um, with flamingos. Okay, so, um, I think I'm gonna need to use a smaller brush. So I'm just gonna go back to my usual two pound one from Thailand, okay? And wishy-washy again, guys, because you can always come back and paint it, okay? So, I'm going in. This is almost like a coloring book now, okay? 
and work in quickly because if you don't it could easily go into um, um, dry up and then you can see your patterns okay don't think I like my orange <laughs> no pink so this is where it blends out into nothing but I will come back to this and see um, what's going on with my my flamingo okay so again I am going into the beak but try not to touch the existing color that we have right now because it will bleed in okay and then I'm just gonna drop in the color on the beak how can you get that super pink I don't think I've got super pink color I have just like diluted muted pink maybe this red no and that's purpley pink I have like um either ready pink or purpley pink how do you do it okay and then now you can see that the colors going in a bit more um, the colors going in a bit more you know soak into you my, my paint so I am going in more with more paint okay drop in I think that's too orange now Hi Mihaela, how are you? And then here, I'm just going to use like a plain, um, my dirty brushes that I already got some paint in. Um, just paint in with my dirty brushes, okay? And don't worry too much about the tails, I'm just going to drag it down like so, okay? And now you can just drop in a bit more color. So is the tail. Just splash, splatter my paint um, but actually it's gonna be like a messy dirty painting anyway so I guess it doesn't really matter but I want to absorb it out Urgh. can I lift it with water we'll just we'll have to wait and see okay near enough I'm good, thank you. We're all safe and well. How are you? Um, okay. I think I've found my pink. <laughs> it's right in front of me all along. That's what happens when you panic. Okay, just drop. I'm going to make it brighter pink. That area started to dry, so don't worry. Just use your clean brush. Um, with dump in water and go in okay like that and I'm gonna leave that rounded so you can kind of suggesting that that flamingo's got a round chubby cheek <laughs> okay and um, oh there I'm just gonna drop more pink into my tails area like so okay like that I think I quite like that or not and I'm going to maybe suggesting the line of the feather like that okay 
and I noticed that the bottom of the flamingo is quite strong color so I'm just gonna go in and the legs too so just filling in the color now and the legs I'm just gonna use a clean well dirty brush and drag it down okay and now just clean my brush and with plain water nothing else in there and still drag keep continue on dragging the color down like so okay and um, it's abstract feet just because I haven't studied the feet <laughs> it's my excuse <laughs> okay or it can be brown you can blend it into brown okay if you want to all right just like that and if certain area has gone um, a bit faded you can just go in a bit more or if you're happy with it already just don't add any more pigment okay when I say pigment I mean um, a more indensed watercolor diluted okay we don't just go straight from the pot or the tube okay 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 like that okay and um, I'm gonna come round what is opposite to pink it's green let's see what do I make if I mix green and pink okay that's not a bad brown I'm going to add to the back of the legs a little bit okay and drop in the feet area a little bit and I'm going to come in because it's too harsh come in with the clean brush and blend it down blend it right down okay like that how we doing and then um, let's go to the another leg okay so just don't forget what pink I use mix so many pink and they're all wrong <laughs> ah! okay another leg is just right behind here okay because it's full right out you know the famous don't forget to give it an obelini do a turn okay like so and then I think I lost a bit of blendy blendy thing going on I'm just gonna go in and add a bit more and that legs way too thin so I'm just gonna add a bit more to it and then the darker color underneath the leg just to give it a bit of a definition and I'm dropping in a bit of brown on the feet okay like that how we doing and then we come into the beak okay with it's like um, the flamingo's got really rich black I'm just gonna use like a really dark gray I think dark gray is my color I don't want black because it will be overpowering our pink okay and again have a test yeah works or I might go for even actually no I'm not going for gray I'm going for indigo It's my favorite color at the moment no that's not indigo oh um, by the way I had a um, spring clean all oh, my palette look how beautiful I took the whole of everything out and um, 
rinse every single palette, every single paint pot. Um, yeah, it's quite satisfying. Okay, I've got my indigo out and I'm um, gonna make it wishy washy somewhere. Okay, and then go in to the beak. Just like that. And then I'm just gonna use a wet paint, wet brush to go in. Okay. Like so. I'm gonna use a tiny, tiny brush. I don't know if that's dry yet. Yeah, okay. I'm trying to look at the picture. And once dry, you can, you know, add more pigment to the beak. Like that. Okay? I'm trying to get the picture in now. Um, and then. Add some details, like so. Oh my god, it's such a beautiful creature. I don't think I'll be able to do it justice. Negative talking to myself? Don't do negative talking. We all can do it, and it doesn't matter. It's for fun, Mona. It's for fun. Don't take it too seriously. <laughs> I'm a detailed person. It's really hard not to... It's really hard to step back out. Seriously, like I just want to paint that beak and I want to do it um, about 10 hours just that bit. But you know what? No, it would be overwork. And the key is step back out, let it go, guys. Just let them hang loose, let them go. Um, okay, and um, but look, I got my little tiny paintbrush out. My art teacher would kill me, but you know what? You know what? Sometimes you gotta do it. Right, I need a zoom up picture of flamingo. Flamingo eyes. Let's Google that up right now. Oh wow, it's very beady, guys. Ooh, beadies. <laughs> so, right, let's not go into details like them because we are not a zoologist geologist, biologist, whatever. <laughs> Let's just do your style, okay? And my style would be outline every single outline. Let's not do that today. How do we do this? I haven't got a clue. I'm just gonna add a dot. In there. Like that, okay? And um, give it a little smile. I like them smiling. And you know what? They can't squint, you know. They can't squint. I was going to give it a squinty look. <laughs> I'm going to give it eyeliner. Eyeliner. I think I quite like that. Stylize a little bit. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> okay, right. <clears throat> Even on that eyelid, it's it's like peach. Super awesome creature. I think that's good enough for um <clears throat> for for what we need. And um, you know what? It'd be like, oh look, I paint this for your wall. You like? You know, um, this is a present for you. But no, we gonna go. We're going to live our life a little extra. <laughs> so, let's fill in the area of the, um, of our, behind our flamingo. Okay, let's go crazy with this one and be proud of it. Um, you know, the fl floral wreath that we made, you can add roses behind here. Okay, so let's do um, this one, right? 
I did a quick drawing earlier when we discussed the composition. Um, so because the pink is a background, you can think about maybe what colors do you want. I mean, pink is our flamingo, right? So that's a pink flamingo, blah, 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 right? So what do you, look, it's terrible to paint on A4 paper. What color can you think of to paint the flowers? So you can paint, you know, the flowers like that. Whatever flower you want that we learned, okay? So that could be your composition. And then more flower behind here, okay? And then um, I haven't got any green mix. Okay, this is going to be a terrible, terrible green, but just to give you an example, okay? So add some leaves. So that can be our composition like that, okay? And then we're going to come in and add a bit of whatever that you want and blow. <laughs> oh God, it doesn't work. <laughs> okay, because it's like a terrible paper. <laughs> oh man. Okay, let's do it again. Blow. <gasps> like that. Okay, guys, on all direction or whatever. So we're going to go and have fun. Today is Blue Peter Day, guys. Okay, right? Are you ready? <laughs> no, I'm not. Right. Let's put our um, scrap sketch away and bring back out our beautiful... What shall I call him? I love naming my things. That's terrible, isn't it? And um, I usually like giving it a floor to stand on, but you know, just do whatever you want. I can, after the class, I might just do a bit more myself somehow. Right, so you can have like big, strong flowers. Can you imagine if you have like A3 piece and make this a big thing for your wall? You're welcome. <laughs> Mihaela, um... Do you are you painting along with me today or you just watch? Let me know. Hi Tammy, this is really nice of everybody to joining me today. So let's do it. Um, do you know? My gosh, I wish I have um strong colors. Like, have you heard of paints called gouache? They like act like watercolor, but it's got um chalk in it, so it's solid, solid color. Like um matte non-transparent once you put one color you have to put another color on top but for um watercolor you need to think about what you put in isn't it you have to put light color in first vice versa but oh my gosh i think neon flowers would look amazing with this but today is not the day we are wishy-washy we are doing wishy-washy type of work because it's watercolor but i have seen so many people doing vibrant colors with watercolor it's unbelievable how they can build up different layers so um you know this is a um basic foundation and then i hope you might be able to build it up yourself and go elsewhere and add your own swag okay right okay oh i got too excited my camera is all wonky now Oh, 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 Mona. There. Oh, look, I'm zooming in and everything. Right. <laughs> Calm down. Okay. Um, do you know what? Pink and green is beautiful. So, um, I'm going to do a lot of green. Um, you can even have like tropical leaves, but that would be boring. So I'm going to do like blue and purple flowers, I think. Well, you know what? I'm just going to do every single color that I can think of. Who cares? Right, 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 right. Are you guys ready? I'm not. <laughs> you know me, I go to purple first always. <laughs> and just do simple flowers. Don't have to be, you know, like daisies. Roses, anything. What are you thinking? Tell me. Type type in now. What flowers are you going? I'm going to go on um, his butt first, I think. I'm just going to go like um, flowers along there, I think. 
Yeah, or there? I don't know. Help! Maybe like that, yeah, behind his back. Yeah, just stick with that, Mona. Don't reinvent the information now. Okay, right. Is it wishy-washy? Test them first. Okay, that's wishy-washy. Right, so... Petal one, go in. No hesitation. Okay, and then petal two. If your flamingo still wet, make sure you don't touch your flamingo. But that's the beauty and um, characteristic of your um, paint, actually. And it might be quite nice to have a little bit of bleeding in. You know what? Happy accident. Just let your paint dance across your paper. Okay, and then you come in with stronger pigment of purple. And gently drop it in either on the tip of the petal. I'm going to do the tip of the petal today because I usually do it from the center. Like that. Okay, and then just let your paint dance graciously graciously across the page for you okay so that's one flower going in and i am going to go in with another purple flower okay um here Make sure that you do not touch um, the flamingo just because, purely because our paint's still wet but um, <clears throat> live as dangerously as possible. Go really near. Ah. Fun! <laughs> if you think that's too dark, don't forget that it's going to get lighter when dried but you can always mop it up with your clean brush okay and um, just go in with darker color on the edges hi sis are you joining me painting with me today Noon? that's my sister she's very talented my god is sickening okay so that might be, I'll leave that for a bit and I can work on it a bit more, okay? And I'm just going to still stick with um, purple. Um, and this one's going to be super, super abstract now and wishy-washy. <clears throat> I don't want to take away the, um, the focus of our star of the show, Flamingo. I think that's probably way too dark with purple. But if you think it's too dark while the paint's still wet, um, just go in with tissue or cotton Q-tips, you know, and gently dab it off. Very, very gently, okay? Because um, you might make like a boo-boo out of it like you, I usually do. Okay? Like so. Just lift some pigment out, that's all. Because less is more in this case, although it's totally against my motto. <laughs> I love go hard or go home type of kind of girl. Okay? And i um, just going to go in. So now, it's almost like lilac now. And I'm going in with very, very faint purple now okay and again I'm coming around here on his leg he is living his extra life okay so I'm coming around here just abstract now okay like that I think I just need one strong flower here just to balance out the
purple. Like that, I think. I don't know. Is it? <laughs> don't doubt myself, Mona. I always do, seriously. It's totally, totally not acceptable, but I do. Okay, and then I'm going in with another color. I like turquoise, so I'm gonna go for turquoise. How are we doing? Are we still alive? Um, and I ran out of my palette. I need a bigger palette for sure. Okay, just gonna add a bit of turquoisey color in there just because I love it. You choose whatever color you like. Okay, team. Like that. Oh, sorry, sis. I forgot that it's 6.45 a.m. Get your ass up. <laughs> Oops, sorry. No swearing. Get your bottom up. That's still not nice. Okay, right. I'm going to have to beat it out now. Ah, what's happening? Don't get panicked today. I'm flap I'm flapping today. It's a flapping type of day for me. Okay, I think I, I kind of saved it or not. Okay, right. Next. Just gonna add a bit of greeneries and then we're done, okay? We are doing really well today, guy. If you manage to um, get this far, we are still okay, guys. Can you feel my nervous energy today? Just because I didn't prepare the paint, um, you know, my prepare the lesson. Always, I am the prepared kind of kind of girl. I'd rather be prepared than not. So choose your green and add whatever petals or leaves or, um, you know, fillers that you need it to, okay? Um, I think I'm just going to still stay here one second with blue, but very, very light blue now. Just fill in the bit where I find that it's too wide. Certain area. I'm overthinking now, aren't I? <laughs> okay, happier, happier. <laughs> no, not happier. Well, I think for this paint, I could definitely spend about five days on it. <laughs> okay, and then I'm going to go for um, leaves. Yeah, don't be too tight because we're going to um, remember what we're going to do after this. We're going to blow it. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. And then I am going to put, what color shall we blow it with? Um, lime green. I'm gonna make lime green with the clean. You can choose whatever color you like, guys. Whatever color you like. So. 
So it's green and yellow. Make lime green. Wow, that's um, that's strong. I need to. It's too strong. Okay, that's super good green. Gonna make it super super. Oh, you guys, you know, um, rather than blowing straight to the to the um, page, you can use straw as well. You know, no, no, um, no right or wrong. Whatever works for you. Where did I blow it? Oh, it's behind her neck, his neck. From my sketch. I might add a bit of blue to it. Ready? Will it work? Yeah. Okay. I like that. <laughs> okay. Right. And then I'm going to add a bit of things here. But not as big as that blow. Okay. I'm going to blow it now. Okay. And then I'm going to come here and do a small one there. So, um... Where did I say? Ah, come back, come back. Right, just about there. Okay. Just like that. Okay. And then um, we can... Add more colors, splatter if you like, flicker, anything you wish, okay? Um, I'm going to have to give him a floor. I don't like him standing um, on the floor like that. But um, it'll be okay for the time being. I'm going to add a bit of blue there. Okay. One more little blow. It's a little bit too big um, for my liking. I think this, if you have a straw, it might work better, actually. Okay. And then... Um, sorry, my sleeves. How professional. Right. Um, where's my flickering brush? There it is. I'm going to go in. With flicker. Okay. And um, I don't want anything on him too much. Just gonna take some off. Okay, and you can go in the details with the petals and stuff. I think that's good enough um, for what I am trying to achieve. Okay, so that's what we done today. I'm probably going to give it a floor to stand and then that's probably it. So um, I hope you enjoy today. Oh, and um, I don't know. I just set up this thing called Kofi.com, and um, if you ever fancy buying me a cup of coffee, that would be great. <laughs> That's like a link somewhere. I haven't added to it yet, and um, it's feel it feels quite wrong to ask people to buy me a coffee, but apparently all the artists do. So anyway, um, off I'm going now have some lunch and um, might go and paint outside today so um, see you tomorrow and I hope you will be able to um, you know paint this and achieve something um, with 
your flowers and spattering. I don't know. I'm a bit flappy today. <laughs> so um, never mind. I'll um, try to plan a better lesson tomorrow. Um, and see you soon, guys. Bye. Bye, 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 bye.